All right, back for another beer review. And today I'll be reviewing yet another beer from the Monkish Brewing Company. And they're out of Torrance, California. And this is their Conscience Be Free. So they are calling this one a double dry hopped, double IPA that comes in at 8.5% alcohol by volume. No IBUs less in time of review. This can is approximately one month old. I wanna give a huge thanks and shout out once again to a very good friend of mine and a viewer of the channel, Bud, for hooking me up with this beer. So a big thanks to him. In the description box, I'll post a link to the beer mail unboxing video I did that contains all the goodies Bud hooked me up with, and he hooked me up with two different monkish beers. The first one was a, a triple IPA called Double Dry Hop uh, Hang My Boots. Fantastic, awesome. I gave it a 4.65 out of 5. And now we have this beer. So this one is brewed and drub... Uh, dr dr double dry hopped with Galaxy and Nelson Southern and Simcoe hops. And uh, the name of this one, I uh, cracked open the box and I was trying to read the name because it's a little tough to read. I don't know if you guys can see it. it's kind of tough to read. I finally figured out it's like conscience be free, which when it comes to Monkish, they love their hip hop references. I'm a huge hip hop fan, especially uh, in the 80s and 90s. And that is a song of the iconic New York hip hop duo uh, Gangstar, which I think they are referencing. If not, I, I don't know what else they'd be referencing, but that's pretty much what I think they are. So anyway, let's crack this one open. Um, I think that song too is from like maybe the 89, 90s, something like that. Anyway, let's crack it open as I did and give it a pour. It's a milky, milky juice from Monkish. Something like that. Beautiful. So, put this over here. <laughs> what just hit me was crazy. Okay. Wow. Oh. <laughs> what is it? What? I, I swear to you, I'm okay. I just cannot believe the aroma that just hit my face piece. Like... I cracked open, I poured it, it just wafted over here. And I'm just like, okay, I'm in a trance. Anyway, this looks like orange juice. That's, I mean, maybe a little bit darker on camera in person is orange juice. It's super milky looking, very uh, murky and turbid. Has about a finger of an off-white, pretty creamy looking head. You can't see through it. Hold it up to the light, yeah. Okay. There, as far as I know, as far as I know, and I don't know a lot. I don't know if you watch the channel enough, but you know... I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about most of the time, okay? You come to my reviews, I could be out in left field, I could be in right field. I can sometimes nail a tasting note, sometimes be so far off, you probably just click off the video. This smells like a legit fruit juice, and what I'm getting is a mixture of pineapple and oranges right off the top. It's pineapple and maybe even blood orange. It's just, if they have a pineapple blood orange juice, it would be this, this beer right here. Holy shit, I... Do you know like the um I forget the name of the the fruit fruit force or whatever from New Belgium that it smells and tastes like straight up grapefruit juice but you you know there's some kind of they, they have natural flavors in here that's what this smells like but like legit real fruit it's it's wild yeah it's 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 crushed pineapple it's pineapple juice mixed in with like a blood orange or a blood orange juice definitely juice heavy in the aroma maybe a little bit of orange you know, when Nelson is the second hop listed, it goes um, Galaxy, Nelson, and Simcoe. And I'm really not getting any, like, white grapes or any kind of gooseberry white wine thing going on. Maybe a little bit of peach and an apricot in here. Honeydew melon. There's a slight kind of, like, dank, piney thing happening. But, I, listen, it's pineapple and blood orange juice combined. It's what it smells like. I hope it tastes like that. Anyway, let's get into it. Cheers, everybody. Thanks again, bud. It's exactly what I said it is in the taste with a almost moderate kind of bitterness. What I love about this is it's fruit juice that you can tell is a beer. Fruit juice that you can tell is a beer. That, that's the best way for me to describe this one. Anyway, let's go body mouthfeel. Body's like higher side of medium, lower side of full. This is actually pretty big body wise and it reminds me a lot of the Seven and a half, eight percent hop butcher double IPAs that I've been drinking recently, where it just has a more of an oomph to it. It's not crazy thick or like over the top, but it has more of just a um, just more of a body in general that that's I appreciate, especially at eight and a half percent. The mouthfeel. What I've noticed about 
at least for me, when it comes to monkish mouthfeels, that carbonation is a little higher than you get in like a lot of typical New England style double IPAs. It's like mild to moderate carbonation, more approaching moderate, but it still retains uh, a decent amount of smoothness and creaminess to the mouthfeel. So it's like the best of both worlds. Um, and it's, it's really good. So body mouthfeel, damn fine. The taste, I'm not going to sit here and complicate things. I don't think this is a overly complex beer. It doesn't need to be, but it's very simplistic and it just works. It's pineapple juice mixed with blood orange juice. There might be a little underlying like ruby red or pink grapefruit, a little bit of a sweeter grapefruit. That all hits me at the front of the palate, passes through. Um, you would, this is where I'd be like, oh, there's a you know peach and apricot and honeydew. Sure, there, you, I, you could say those things. I was getting that in the nose, but on the palate, it's a maybe a touch, a smidge, an accentuation of of like a peach and apricot and honeydew, but it's just not there to the point where I'm like, I need to sit there and go, oh my God, it's definitely, you know, 100%. It's just a little bit, smidges, a touch. And then on the finish, it's just, it's moderately bitter and it doesn't have like a piney kind of feeling to me. It's more like dank and maybe even like, um, like grassy. Like the bitterness is different than I've been accustomed to with monkish uh, beers and their bitterness or anything from the West Coast. But it works so well because this is sweet fruit juice up front with that that like moderate bitterness. And there's a, I would say a full on dry kind of feeling too on the back of the palate. The dryness and the bitterness very, work hand in hand to kind of keep uh, the, the sweetness in check to the point where it's like, holy shit, this is incredibly balanced. I just want to drink it all. Yeah, I mean, I don't think this is as good as Double Dry Hopped Hang My Boots. I think that one was a little bit more, just, just a smidge more uh, impressive. But again, that is a triple IP. I think that was 10.4%. So this is 8.5. We're talking almost 2% lower. So to get something in that realm with 2% less ABV is, is damn impressive. 8.5%, uh, definite warming in the chest, nothing on the palate. This is fucking an awesome beer. Uh, when I first cracked it and I was like, man, what am I smelling? And then everything carried over. Damn impressive. Uh, yeah, I don't know where to go with this one other than, the... you know what? Fuck it. You know, I, I, I take back what I said. I just said this is not as impressive as Double Dry Hopped Hang My Boots. I think it might be more impressive because of that 2%. It's not as complex as that beer, but the fact that it's 8.5 and not 10.4, and there's only a couple tasting notes here, and they're nailing them, I think I have to give this actually a higher rating. Let me go one more sip before I rate stupidly like I usually do. But again, ratings do not matter. They do not. Only to myself. That's fucking awesome. It's pineapple, blood orange juice with a moderate bitterness, super well-balanced, just delicious. I'm gonna drink the rest of that fucking thing off camera probably about like five, 10 minutes. Conscience, be free um, from Monkish. I am gonna give this a straight 4.75 out of five. Why? Why the fuck not? I gave the double dry hop hang my boots a 4.65 out of five. And you know, the first thing I was like, oh, this is not as good. I'm not gonna go as high rating wise, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. This, I think this is more impress impressive because of the ABV. Um, I don't know if this is delicious. Price point availability, I believe, and here's another thing, this is substantially cheaper. I don't just say substantially, but it's cheaper than that as well. $22 four pack, Bud said. Um, yeah, all day, every day. Like, yes. It'd be $20 four pack in uh, New York if something like this was sold, but let me tell you, $22 four pack, no problems whatsoever buying that for $5.50 a can all day. And then availability, it's monkish, you know, I, I don't know. They don't get great distribution, we'll say that. A lot of the stuff is brewery only or in around the brewery. Uh, sometimes you'll see drops outside of uh, the area. Maybe you'll see them randomly in other states. But I will say that they are pretty tough to get in general unless you have a trading partner. So that's why I'm so thankful that Bud was able to send me a couple Monkish, um, as he typically does in his beer mails. Um, it's pretty much the only way I get a chance to try Monkish and... Yeah, they're fucking great brewery. End of story. So if you've had this one before, post in the cons. Uh, the I was gonna say conscience, the conscience. Post in the conscience, you know, conscience be free. I post in the comments section, and uh, let me know if you've had this and what you think about it. Is it as good as I say it is? Is it substantially worse? I don't know. I just think that. This is a beautiful double dry hop, double IPA. Even though I didn't get much of the Nelson influence from that white grape, white wine, uh, gooseberry side of things, I don't give a shit because this is delicious. So thank you, bud. Thanks to everybody stopping by for another beer review here on the Beer Patrol. To the next one. Cheers.